Ask America. I'm your host, Kevin Pereira, and this is the game show that's all about opinions. You see, we pulled people all across the country about a wide variety of really fun subjects. And right now, these four contestants, all Skyping from home, will try to correctly predict what America is thinking. Should they play a perfect game, one of them could take home $50,000. However, it's not going to be easy because at the end of each round, the person with the least amount of money will be eliminated. Aww. All right, Shayla, Chris, Ricky, and Julia, are you guys ready to play? Yeah! yeah. Let's do it! Then yeah. it's time for Let's Ask America! Our first question is worth $100. Here are the two possible answers. We've got scheduled or spontaneous. And the question is... Which type of intimacy did married couples say occurs more often? First up, she's a guidance counselor from Texarkana, Arkansas. Please welcome Shayla. All right, well, let's get it going, Shayla. Is it scheduled or spontaneous? Not spontaneous, but scheduled. <laughs> Sweetheart, I love you. I love you to death. That's why I got you in the calendar from 9 to 9.07 today. So okay. next up, he's a chemist from Evansville, Indiana. Please welcome Chris to the show. Hey, Kevin, how you doing? What's going on, Chris? Oh, not a whole lot. Feeling great, though. I love it. Are you playing deep from your secret laboratory of doom in the side of a hollowed yes, out volcano? Yes, the place where, where I this? work at. <laughs> the University of Southern Indiana Stockroom. Go Eagles. <laughs> nice. But where are the sweet... Where's like the sweet chemist tricks? Not like a Breaking Bad thing. I don't want you to get a felony. Oh, you mean uh, something like uh, this? Whoa! <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I meant. Something like that. <laughs> what was? What happened there, Chris? What was that? That's what happens if uh, you take a balloon and you put hydrogen in it instead of helium. Oh, of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Chris, you're never allowed near a children's party. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, Chris, thank you for that. That was awesome. Now let's get you some cash. Is it scheduled or spontaneous? What'd you pick? Hey, it's always the best when it's spontaneous. That's it. For the moment. Next up, he's an automotive service manager from Greenbrier, Tennessee. Please welcome Ricky. Yeah. All right, so Ricky, what are you thinking? Is it scheduled or spontaneous? Well, I've got to tell you, after 30 years of marriage, I know a little bit about this. And even though we've had to schedule it from time to time, it's always better when it's spontaneous. Finally, she's a college student from Charleston, South Carolina. Please welcome Miss Julia. Hello. What's going on, Julia? Nothing. How are you? It's so nice to meet you. It's so nice to meet you too, Julia. <laughs> Julia, be honest with me. Do you go into the fridge more often or on top of it? Because I see some good looking bottles up there. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Fair enough. What are you thinking, Julia? For $100, is it scheduled or spontaneous? I have to say, when you're married, you're most likely having a job, and you're trying to... It, I'd say it would be scheduled. <laughs> At least something's on the calendar. The correct answer. For $100 with 80% of the vote, they said... Oh, the audience says scheduled. The correct answer is spontaneous! <laughs> the men get it right. Chris and Ricky on the board with 100 apiece. Shayla, Julia, worry not. Our next question is worth $200. Anyone can move right into the lead. Here are the two possible answers. We've got Kim Kardashian or Paris Hilton. I haven't even read the question yet. <laughs> the question is... Who did reality TV fans say has worked harder to achieve their fame? <laughs> Look, whoever you guys pick, I think we can all agree they've each achieved absolutely nothing with zero talent. So congratulations. Yeah. You did it. For $200, who did reality TV fans say has worked harder to achieve their fame? Miss Julia, we'll start with you. Do you think it's Kim Kardashian or Miss Paris Hilton? One has a show out right now and one doesn't. And I'm going to have to go with my girl, Kim. Kim K, if you're nasty. Ricky, have you been keeping up with the Kardashians? Oh, I'm afraid that I have to. I mean, everybody, if you're alive, you're keeping up with the Kardashians, for crying out loud. You're so reluctant. Well, Ricky, what do you think? Is it Kim Kardashian or is it Paris Hilton? 
you know, I think she's been working a little bit longer and probably a little bit harder. I got to say, Paris Hilton. Especially on that music career of hers. Career. Ricky says Paris Hilton. Chris, what are your thoughts? Well, this one's kind of a either or, but you know, she still has the show. I'm gonna have to go with Kim Kardashian. All right, this is Kim. Hey, Miss Shayla, you have the final say. Who are you going with? I'm gonna say Kim Kardashian. All right. So Shayla says Kim Kardashian. Here you go for two hundred dollars. It's sixty-seven percent of the vote. Kim Kardashian is the answer. Shayla's on the board, Julia's on the board, Chris is now in first place with 300, which means, Ricky, good sir, you need this final question correct if you want to stay in the game. It is worth $300. I wish you the best of luck. Here we go. The two possible answers are kids table or adults table. And the question is, which group did single men say has more fun at Thanksgiving dinner? <laughs> down for $300. Which group did single men say has more fun at Thanksgiving dinner? Shayla, we're going to start with you. Kids table or adults table? I'm going to have to go with the kids table. All right, so Shayla says the kids are having a good time. Julia? I personally would want to sit at the kids table because I absolutely love them, but I think single men don't want to deal with their food and the messiness of it, and they want to have good conversations, so I'd say the adult table. Julia says the adults table. Chris? You know, being a former single man, it was actually a lot of fun sitting at the kids' table for Thanksgiving dinner because, you know, you can actually have fun with the kids. At the adults, you're always having to sit there and just eat the food and just have a simple conversation. So I'm saying kids' table. All right. Chris says you're kids' table. That means, Ricky, you have the final say, sir. What's it going to be? Well, I mean, I think if I heard this question right, it said, which group did single men say has more fun at the Thanksgiving dinner table? And if that's her, if I heard that right, it has to be the kids' table. All right, for $300 to decide who stays and plays and who gets eliminated with 60% of the vote. The correct answer, the adults' table, Julia. You're down first place with 500, Chris in second with three, Shayla hanging in there with 200, and Ricky, man, oh man, it was a pleasure to meet you, sir. It feels like we just met, but now I have to say goodbye, Ricky, because you've been eliminated. I'm so sorry, buddy. One down, three are moving on. More questions and a whole lot more fun. More fun than the kids' table. And let's ask America return. Let's Ask America. We're down to three contestants Skyping from home. They're all trying to win big money by predicting what America is thinking. And now it's about to get even harder because these next questions have three possible answers. This question is worth $400. And the three possible answers are wallet, wedding ring, or pet. The question is, what did married men say would cause them the most trouble if they lost it? <laughs> All right, everybody's got their answers down. Miss Shayla, we're going to start with you. Wallet, wedding ring, or pet? Well, if he lost a pet, we could get another one. If he lost his wedding ring, which he has several times, we got another one. But his wallet, on the other hand, it's hard to get money back. It's true. Shayla says it's the old wallet. Julia, what say you? The wedding ring, you have to deal with the cost of that and your wife. I said wedding ring. Not a brief there. Mm, not coming off. Not losing that one. Chris, you have the final say. Going through it, when you lose a pet, it's hot, tough getting over it. So I'm going to say pet. That is tough. The correct answer for $400 with 48% of the vote. They said wallet. Shayla could care less that she got this one right. But it doesn't matter. Shayla just got $400. Shayla's now in first place with $600. Julia just behind with $500. Chris hanging in there with $300. We're going to raise the stakes yet again. Our next question is worth $500. Possible answers are texting, talking, or tardiness. The question is, what did high school teachers say they spend more time reprimanding their students about? Everybody's got their answers down. Chris, I'm going to start with you this time. What'd you pick, sir? It's always talking. You always got time to be quiet. 
Julia. You're supposed to talk in the classroom, but not all the time. So right. I feel like you're gonna have to tell them. All right, so Julia agrees. She says talking as well. Miss Shayla, bring us home. The new thing now is bringing the phones to the classroom and texting, getting those answers on the test. I'm gonna have to go with texting, I'm sorry. LOL, OMG, teacher is totes. Ew. Sheila says texting the correct answer for $500 with 65% of the vote. They said, talking. Oh. Gotta keep it quiet in that classroom. Julia now in first place with $1,000. Chris just behind with 800. Shayla, you're hanging in there with six. But now it's time for the final question of this round, and it is worth $1,500. But more importantly, because this is the final question, the contestant with the least amount of money on the other side of this will be eliminated. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Three possible answers are key lime pie, inebriated tourists, or Jimmy Buffett songs. <laughs> The question is, what did Florida residents say would be harder to avoid when visiting Key West? <laughs> Again, this is the final question of the round. This will decide who moves on and who gets eliminated. Shayla, sweetheart, you need this one to stay in our game. What'd you pick? I have been a tourist before, so I'm gonna go with tourists. <laughs> That's what Shayla says, inebriated tourists. Chris, your thoughts? I'm gonna have to go along with it. I'm gonna have to say it's a tourist. That's what Chris agrees with Taurus. That means, Julia, you have the final say. I have to say, if you're, I'm just going with my gut. If you're at a restaurant, they're going to play that music. I say Jimmy Buffett songs. All right, so Julia went with Jimmy Buffett songs for $1,500 to stay and play in our game with 50% of the vote. Inebriated tourists! Yeah! <laughs> Congrats to Chris and Shayla. I'm so sorry, Miss Julia. It's the end of the road for you, sweetheart. It was a pleasure to meet you, but you've been eliminated. Goodbye, Julia. Chris and Shayla are moving on. Our contestants Skype for their lives when Let's Ask America returns. We are back with Let's Ask America right now. Shayla and Chris are going head to head in a battle. For big, big cash, we are two questions away from finding out who will play in our final round. It's down to this, you guys. Two questions left. In fact, our next question is worth $2,000. Things are going to get a little more challenging here. You'll now have four possible answers to choose from. And they are carrot sticks, apples, egg salad, or tuna fish. The question is, what did mom say kids least like to find in their lunchbox? <laughs> Chris, I'm gonna go ahead and start with you. That stinky tuna fish you just can't do anything with. It's lousy, no way. Nothing prettier than afternoon tuna smell. Not good. <laughs> Shayla, what do you think? I'm gonna have to go with that stinking egg salad. Um, lukewarm egg salad. Nothing smells prettier. <laughs> Top two answers, tuna fish and egg salad separated by only 3% of the vote, guys. Wow. The correct answer for $2,000. Egg salad, Shayla, you have $4,100 right now. $4,100, Shayla. So here's where we're at. Shayla has $4,100. Chris, you have $2,300, and that means it all comes down to this. The final question of this round. Right on. It's worth $5,000. The four possible answers are the shoplifter, their minister, security, or no one. Final question of this round is, who would churchgoers tell if they saw a member of their congregation shoplifting? <laughs> possible answers are the shoplifter, their minister, security, or no one. And Chris, we'll start with you once again, sir. I think they're just gonna try to get it off their chest and tell their minister. Okay. This says tell the minister. Shayla, walk me through it. What are you thinking? I would just pray and tell no one. All right, let's find out the answer. Who would churchgoers tell if they saw a member of their congregation shoplifting for $5,000 for a shot at our final round in big, big money? The correct answer with 45% of the vote. They said they would tell 
security. So nobody gets the $5,000. Shayla, not a problem for you. You are moving on. Chris, man, it was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. I wish you the absolute best. You're a hell of a guy, but unfortunately, Chris, you've been eliminated. Sorry, buddy. We wave goodbye to Chris. We say congrats to Miss Shayla. $4,100 without even leaving her home. And in a moment, she'll have an opportunity to risk her winnings for a shot at $20,500. And Let's Ask America continues. <laughs> Welcome back to Let's Ask America. Right now, Shayla, a guidance counselor from Texarkana, Arkansas, has defeated all comers, winning $4,100 along the way. Now you've got some company, Shayla. Who is that? This is my lovely husband, Zadale, and he's also my pastor. $4,100. How do you feel right now? I'm just excited. I'm so ready to <laughs> Let's Ask America. We can take it. Shayla, excited is good. But right now, you have a chance to win even more cash. It's decision time. You can risk any portion of your $4,100 on this final question. But Shayla, if you put it all on the line and you get it correct, I will give you five times that amount for $20,500. However, Shayla, if you go all in and you get it wrong, you fall all the way down to just $1,000. Obviously, that's a huge difference. So what are you thinking, Shayla? What would you do with that kind of cash? If you went all in, you went over 20 grand, what would you do? My husband and I, we would go on the honeymoon we never had. Um, I would just be so excited. So, I, I mean, you know, it was a hard decision to make, a very hard decision. I thought about doing half of it. I'm just going to go all in. Oh, yeah. Wow. Shayla is going all in. $4,100 on the line. Shayla, that means... If she gets his last question right, she will win $20,500. Shayla, you played a great game so far. We wish you the best. We all want you to get this one. This is a gutsy move, and it keeps it exciting for us. Thank you so much, Shayla. Here we go. Best of luck. For $20,500, here are the four possible answers. We've got wearing braces, single gold tooth, broken tooth or yellow teeth. Shayla, for $20,500, your final question is, what about a guy's teeth did single women say would be a dental deal breaker? <laughs> Shayla has banked $4,100. She's chosen to put it all on the line for a shot at $20,500. This is a big, big moment, Shayla. Walk me through it. What are you thinking? Wearing braces. It would be okay. A single go tooth, we can click that out his mouth. Yellow teeth, I can whiten his teeth with some whitener, but a broken tooth? Uh, I just, I can't, I can't do a broken tooth. I can't do a broken tooth. That's where Shayla draws the dental line. She says, no broken tooth. All right, Shayla, let's find out if you're right. You got $4,100 $4, oh, and you Jesus. put it all on the line. If you're correct. I did. $20,500 is oh, yours. God. If you're wrong, Shayla, you drop down to $1,000. Still not too shabby for playing a game from your house. That's true. The question was, what about a guy's teeth did single women say would be a dental deal breaker? With 42% of the vote, the correct answer. Yes, yes. Shayla, they said single gold tooth. Oh. Yeah, I'm surprised as well. I, I thought you might have had it right there. Unfortunately, you took the risk. It didn't pay off. But Shayla, you still won $1,000 playing a game from your house. You're a phenomenal player, a beautiful human being, Shayla. It was a pleasure to have you here, and I hope you enjoy that grand. So nice to meet you. Thanks for playing. And hey, we're giving people just like you a shot at 50000 So go to our website and find out how right here on Let's Ask America.